Hi, this is Cameron Simpson from CS Trades 101. Um, today we're going to be covering um, a little bit of a different topic. Um, just something that's been kind of catching my eye, bothering me a bit, just uh, with uh, <clears throat> some messages and stuff I've been getting. Um, just to uh, see how the <clears throat> how the system works and how they um, target uh, people um, like on platforms. Uh, like uh, I'll go through them, um, Yahoo Finance, uh, there's there's TD, Trade, all those things have those pop-up commercials and stuff and say, um, buy this, um, th th look at this stock, um, for instance, Spotify is the next um, Amazon or, or, or whatever like that. Um, it's grown like 4,000% in the last one and on and on and on. There's like millions of little lines to get you to go and then they'll show you the stock at the worst and then at the best and, and they don't show you how it got there and all that stuff. I just wanted to um, <clears throat> share with you um, how these guys can pull you in to buy stuff. I've been suckered in a couple times. Um, no, I didn't get it that bad though. Um, just bought some stocks and they'll and these are hedge funds okay these are hedge companies that own these things and they put these commercials out um and i'm just gonna look down here at some stuff that i got <clears throat> zach's finance that's another one too um uh, stock advisor um uh, motley fool services see I, I have to write them down because i don't know there's hundreds of thousands of them out there okay i want to make some one thing totally clear here Okay, uh, like well, simple trades platform. That's my broker. That's who I use as a broker. They're awesome for what they do. Okay, it's just that the advertised that goes into those ads um, to generate more money for them. Those pop up ads and stuff like that in Facebook um, and all over Twitter and all that stuff. Don't buy stuff off those, man. Like before you do, if you do, do your serious research. Like serious research. Like more use, more research than most YouTubers. <laughs> Okay, and I just want to tell you that, like, I'm not a broker or a financial advisor. I'm not giving you any financial advice here. I'm just telling you to watch what you're buying because it's it's affecting a lot of people. A lot of people, especially the younger people, um, are getting misled with all these flashing lights and all this advertisement and all this stuff. That's why I put up on the screen right now, like, look at that big furnace there. Just look at that. Those are, those are, uh, that's a hedge fund burner. Like you're just dumping money, you're just throwing all your money into these, um, into these hedge funds, and we're 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 supposed to be, uh, they're the one percent. We're supposed to be, like, banding together and and trying to solve these issues and bringing up these concerns to the governments and stuff to get these things changed so it's even playing ground for investors, um, instead of us against these big firms with these high tech computers and all these systems that they use and laddering and naked sharing and all that stuff. We can't do that stuff. That's their headache stuff, and they, they made it up, and that's why they're good at it, right? So let's jump on into some new stuff because I just want to back this up and just show you guys um, what I'm talking about so you can be aware of these ads popping up all over the place. It's getting really bad, okay? And it's not the platform's problems like Twitter and stuff like that. There's nothing that I'm not talking about um, YouTube. I'm not talking about anything like that. I'm talking about the commercials that are now coming out in this generation around stocks. Okay, that's all I'm saying. These guys own these stocks. That's why they want you to buy them. Okay, like these EV stocks. And I'm not saying don't buy them, but find out the good ones. You don't listen to these guys because they own them and they want their portfolios to grow. Right? Because some of them are lagging right now, big time. They're losing lots of money because of AMC and all this other stuff that we're doing to them okay so don't be buying in giving the money back the other way okay what is a, what is a growth stock okay they're going to go in here and they're going <clears> to <throat> show you the areas right here shopify okay it's uh, e-commerce up here in canada right it's going to show you the growth like look that's that's awesome man like you got your money in there right there's look at them all look at them all you recognize these names right there's nothing wrong with the names i'm not telling you about the names these are properly numbered right like this is probably a pretty accurate information right I'm not talking about that I'm talking about this. Look at that. Road to success and freedom. Wouldn't it be awesome to retire in your 30s or even younger? Like, yeah. Wouldn't it? Okay. Reality here. Um, you can make a decent income, but it's not going to happen overnight. Okay. So I'm just going to, I'm just scanning through all this stuff here because a lot of it's uh, just not irrelevant to this. It's just about COVID stuff and all that stuff. How it's affecting the economy. We, we don't need to know that. Oh. Here's one right here, um, earnings, full, full money and all that stuff. The, uh, Zach's finance. And <clears throat> I guess that's it. That's what I, um, the only thing that I had there on that. No, that, that's not right. 
Just give me a second here, guys. There it is. Okay, these analyzed charts. Like, look at this. Money flow returns, like, stock advisor, that's a hedge fund. Like, those guys are hedgies, right? I'm not talking about any of this advertisement here over um, the owner of Facebook and all that stuff. I'm just showing you these ads that pop up. How can we, how can they help, fool, help you? Just join our magazine. Join our hedge fund. Give us a couple bucks a month. Like, just anything to screw us over, right? We can't afford all these big commercials and stuff like that. We, it's crazy. Um, it just goes on and on, and then they'll say, like, a, a welcome surge, like, for phones and stuff like that. 6% after hours trading. And I'm not talking about the trading platforms. I'm talking about these commercials <clears throat> that are, excuse me, that are popping up all over the place, like, get rich now, um, uh, invest in BMO. Uh, if you do it now, we'll give you a couple hundred bucks. That is, it's, it's just... I'm not saying use the platform and it's a good thing, but don't buy into the stocks that they're promoting before you look into it, okay? Because of course everybody wants to own um, the Spotify, or like uh, Spotify, like all those channels and uh, Amazon, like when they first started, like it was like having the first Bitcoin. Of course you want that stuff. So anyways, Wolfpack, I just wanted to share that with you. Just um, just because um, I just it's been on my mind and it, it is actually 1 a.m. in the morning up here in um, Canada here in British Columbia so I just couldn't sleep I, I was just rolling around I, I had to get up I had a shower and just do the podcast here and because I had to cover this this was on my mind um, and I just wanted to uh, just tell you I'm not a financial advisor and I'm not bagging on all these companies like these banks and stuff like that um it, it's um, the advertisement that comes along with it these uh advertisements that they're trying to boost their income too right for uh for network time so anyways we'll pack keep it real and um subscribe down below if you want to see more thumbs up and uh yeah um i will shoot a podcast in the morning here um as soon as i get up um, as soon as market opens and I have a good look at what's happening, um, just because first market open, you can't predict for the first hour. Just remember what I told you guys before, these trading platforms stock up overnight and then they go in. That's why you see stock go up and then I'll go down like in the hours for time. They, oh man, I just bought that and I've lost money. It's happened to all of us at least once or twice. Okay, that's, that's the rule for the tonight. Okay, and remember I'm not a broker or a financial advisor, but that's what I do. Okay, uh, Wolfpack, have a great night. Over and out.